What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the NG Models February 2023 releases. We have a total of 36, yes, count them all, 36 models this month from NG, so that is a heck of a lot of models to go through, so that's part of the reason why I'm no longer doing these hint segments for the NG release videos, but I'll go ahead and pop up on your screen my 1 to 400 predictions uh, just for a little bit so you can see what I predicted, and then also for the 1 to 200 section, because six additional releases were announced the following day after the uh, 1 to 400 hints were announced. And I've just caught wind that the February 2023 releases are out. I checked the NG website. They're not up on their main page yet, but I do suspect that they're in their database. So let's go ahead and take a look. And of course, we do have the February 2023 releases in there. So let's go ahead and get started. This is probably going to be in a bit of a different order than what um, you're used to with these uh, release videos. Okay, so their website does not seem to have any pictures linked because I keep trying to click on the item numbers and nothing was showing up. So I'm guessing they have not yet fully posted them on their website. But um, what I do know for sure is that their Instagram page has it. So I'm going to take a look. 77031, our first release, the Southwest 737-700 uh, Pixar Coco livery. So one of the uh, Pixar movies that was released and Southwest painted one of their planes in the special livery. Don't think this is around anymore, so this is kind of an outdated plane. Ooh, yes, 88008, one of the planes I did not really predict. I was thinking more Virgin Blue for this stuff, but we have a Bonza 737 Max 8. Um, and then we also have another one to follow that up next. This one has just the white winglets, so whereas the other one had the um, purple winglets, it looks like. Kind of reminds me of, like, Lot Polish there on the winglet, and just from looking at it from the Instagram preview image, which is always very small. I can't, I can never get them to zoom in. 88002, we do have the Canyon Blue Max 8. I have seen a few more photos of the Desert Gold Max 8. It looks like NG may have gotten the color wrong. Um, it looks to be a little bit dark, um, a little less saturated, and it is also lacking the gold shine that it has, like a little uh, glitter glittery sparkle, if you will. Um, so it does not have that, unfortunately, and as such, I'm probably not going to get the NG version. I will wait for Gemini to see how they perform on their rendition, which... While they have messed up on that desert gold color before, I certainly think that they'll get it better this time around. Because I'm thinking, because it's like an officially licensed product, Gemini probably gets the official Pantone colors and all that from the airline, so that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so we do not have an actual image here, but we do have a United Max 9, but this one unfortunately is in the old livery, at least for me. Um, I have the Gemini rendition from 2018. I was really hoping this would be Evil Blue, but it is unfortunate that they did uh, the Continental Globe livery instead. But maybe in the future they'll do the um, Evil Blue Max. Next up, we have a China Southern 737-700. This one is um, Ordinary Hero, as they call it on the Instagram post. And then following that up, we have another 737-700 of China Southern Airlines. This one has a... A uh, sticker saying that this is the 4,000th Next Generation 737. Next up, we have another Malev Hungarian Airlines 737-600. So, interesting choice that we have here. And the movement up along, um, because NG has split the posts into several different parts. Our next release, we have an Air Greenland A330-200. Pretty interesting choice right there with the Air Greenland release. Next up, we have a TIE 787-8 Dreamliner right here. Originally thought this was a Dash 9, but it does seem like it might be a Dash 8, judging by the shorter length of the fuselage. And then the next release is another 787-8. We have a Qatar FIFA World Cup livery instead. Um, not necessarily a livery, but there is a sticker towards the rear of the aircraft. They did plenty of these before, but I think they were on like 777s or something. Following that up, we do have a regular Qatar 7878, so you have that option if you just want the regular livery instead. Always kind of a nice thing that NG does. Following that up, we have an EVA Air 787-9 with a special 787 livery. You see the various stripes and swooshes with the uh, green and the, um, like the darker green there towards the back, all that cool detail. Following that up, we have another Qatar 787, this one a Dash 9 with the Qatar FIFA World Cup livery. And then after that, we have a Garuda Indonesia 777-300ER. This one looks to be... It does have a sticker underneath, so I'm going to check the previous post for more information. This is the Wonderful Indonesia livery. Although they did spell Indonesia wrong on the post. 
Next up, we have a Tupolev Tu-154M. This one looks to be probably the Russian Air Force, if I had to guess. That looks really cool for the Soviet collectors. And we still got two more posts to go. So again, that tells you just how many releases they have. They say there's a total of 33 this month. So they might have forgotten a few. Next up, we have a United Kingdom A321neo. So I believe this is one of the government planes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this one actually is operated by Titan Airways, which is kind of interesting. Next up, we have an Agen Airlines A321neo. So this is one of the releases that I do remember predicting off the top of my head. And here they used another real-life photo, just like with the uh, Tupolev. So they obviously don't have artwork up for all of these releases yet, which is a bit interesting. And we have another one that doesn't have artwork just yet as I record this. But this one right here is the Avianca Airbus A320. So this one has a special um, Laxa sticker towards the back. Yeah, so just like a Laxa Heritage colors, so pretty interesting there with like the tail design and all that. Next up, we have a Taram A318. So there is that Taram A318. I, I could have sworn that they had done one of these before, but I could be wrong on that. I feel like they've done this already. Next up, we have an Air India Airbus A319 with the uh, normal livery, so nothing fancy going on here, but looks really cool. Then we have another Air India A319 to follow that up. It looks like doesn't look like anything too different, maybe. Well, there is actually a, um, looks like a person there on the tail, so let me take a look. The Mahatma Gandhi colors. I probably didn't say that right, so I do apologize, but that is the special livery. Hey, here's one I remember predicting, the Cebu Pacific 757-200. This one, a really fancy-looking livery right here. Uh, the city of Malina the, from the Philippines. And then we have a Cathay Pacific L1011 TriStar with the Super TriStar decal on the tail. So a really nice release right here, and I know a lot of retro collectors are talking about this Cathay TriStar, so that might please a lot of people. A lot of real-life photos here, so they must not have artwork all ready for them just yet. Hopefully they will soon. And then following that up, we have an Air Transat Airbus A321 with a really unique-looking livery. It looks like it's got googly eyes on there, and that's pretty interesting. So it is just called the Kids Club livery in that case, so that is what they call it on the post. And then we have an Air Transat A321neo to follow that up, that looks really cool. And then we have some JetBlues right here. We got a JetBlue A321neo. This one looks to be the streamer's tail, so a really nice release right here from NG. I already have the Gemini rendition, so I don't necessarily need another one of these. And then we do have the Ribbons one to follow that up as well. Looks really cool right here. So I would kind of like to have the Ribbons one as well to complete that trifecta of Neos that JetBlue has. Because they have the Balloons one, they have the Streamers, and then they have this Ribbons one. So if I can get this Ribbons one, I'll be happy. We have an Air Busan A321neo. Looks like the World Expo 2020, um, or no, 2030, I should say, in uh, Busan, Korea. So that looks really interesting. So it seems like they might have the World Expo like every decade or so. So 2020 it was in Dubai, but pushed back because of the pandemic. And then a regular Air Busan E321 to follow that up. Not going to talk too much about tags, I kind of want to keep going here. But we do have an Air New Zealand A321neo in all blacks livery. This one right here, probably complement that Star Alliance one really well for those that collect Air New Zealand. And then we have a Corsair 747SP. This one looks really nice right here. A very dirty image of this plane, but again, the CGI will hopefully be up on your screen instead of like a black screen or whatever, because I don't want to use these images because they are probably copyrighted, so I don't want to get myself in trouble. I'd rather let NG do that for themselves. And then our last release that we have here is an ANA 777 with a very unique looking livery right here. I have never seen this. This does look like some sort of anime to me, but let me take a look at the details in the original post. This one is the Kimitsu no Yaiba colors. I butchered the heck out of that, so that and please forgive me for doing that. Um, but yeah, let me take a look at that. Okay, there's a, Jap a Japanese manga series, so that's what that is. And it seems like artwork does seem familiar, because I, I think I know somebody that does watch that stuff, or at least is really interested in it. So, yeah. And that is everything that we have for the NG February 2023 releases. That is quite a lot to take in, and I don't want to do another, like, five-minute summary on this, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it short and sweet. A lot of releases, and you would just certainly hope that NG has the capacity to handle this many releases in the first place, because this is a total of 33 models that they're doing. And what I just realized, I don't think they had 
any of the 1 to 200 stuff. They may have not posted that on there, which I found kind of interesting. So that may be something that they will need to take a look at if they decided to postpone those or whatever. But I think, yeah, they did not even announce any um, 1 to 200 releases. So wherever those went, they must have gotten thrown out the window. But as we know with NG, they always like to announce a lot of releases, and then sometimes they'll either add ones that weren't in there or they'll remove ones that were originally hinted at in their hints posts. So... NG just is really inconsistent when it comes to these sins. So I think if they're going to continue having these issues, I would think that they need to, you know, make these decisions before they release the hints to the public because it gets people hyped up for certain releases and then come to find out that, they're, have they, that they have been omitted from the release. It's going to make some people upset. So it is quite unfortunate that NG is doing stuff like this, and you would hope that they would be able to resolve this in the future. But nevertheless, we do have great variety with what was released this month, and there's just way too much to choose from, and I'm sure a lot of collectors are going to have their wallets be completely destroyed by this release set. And I know if I were to be buying models like crazy, the Jet Blue ribbons would be for me, that Canyon Blue Retro, because I think they'd do much better on that than on the Desert Gold. Um, otherwise, I think that's pretty much everything for me, so I guess my wallet's not as destroyed as some others, but... We shall see what happens with the next release. So I'm going to go ahead and keep scouring their website, and hopefully they'll have more images out. And if they do have anything additionally posted in terms of new releases, then I'll go ahead and provide an update towards the end of the video. But if not, uh, then we'll go ahead and end the video here. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. One 200 releases were later posted after I finished recording the main segment of this video. The following 1 to 200 releases were announced, including the China Eastern Comax C919, Lionel Messi's Private Jet, the Gulfstream 550, Air Sahara CRJ200, US Airways Express CRJ200, and a Dassault Falcon 7X with a prototype livery.